Militant secularism is on the march in Canada, and it should come as no surprise that it brandishes the ostensible virtues of tolerance and inclusivity as a pretext for stamping out religious expression with government force. First up is Alberta's Ministry of Education, which is making compromising demands of faith-based schools. Alberta Education has commanded faith-based schools to scrub references to such terms as truth from their safe and caring school policies or risk losing funding and or accreditation. Even a statement such as, we believe men and women were created in the image of God after his likeness and therefore have transcendent intrinsic worth is deemed unwelcome, uncaring, and or disrespectful in Alberta Education's detailed feedback to several Alberta schools. Meanwhile, the province of Quebec is banning public officials from wearing religious symbols. Wearing religious symbols in the Canadian province of Quebec will become illegal for teachers, judges, police officers, and those who work in prisons under a campaign promise made by the newly elected Coalition Avenir Quebec. To recognize secularism as a Quebec value is to take cognizance of the evolution of a people which, for the past half century, has become increasingly secular and has taken a confessional character out of its institutions, then Premier Pauline Morin reportedly said in 2013. While Canada makes motions towards compulsory secularism, the People's Republic of China continues its crackdown on the Christian faith, destroying churches, beating and arresting pastors and parishioners, while American atheists cheer and suggest the same thing should happen here. This is why, when atheists demand that you keep your faith out of the public sphere, you are not obligated to yield an inch to them. In fact, as a Christian, you are obligated not to yield an inch to them. Secularism always tilts in the direction of totalitarianism. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.